What's going on guys? So today I've got yoga. I'm actually going to pop that out here in a little bit. Um, but I still don't see any in filming some of these. I think you guys are used to seeing what yoga is like. Some of you guys are doing this program. Uh, probably know what it's like and kind of know what it's doing. I mean, the only thing that I use the videos for when I'm filming is now just kind of checking my technique. Um, but at this point, I mean, it's kind of more my own personal kind of thing. That's what I do with some of these videos. Um, you know, I, I film the full sessions, but I don't actually upload the hour long workout. I actually just cut it up into pieces, throw different sections on and um, show you guys the techniques, some of the movements, um, some of the things I'm struggling with, um, some of the things I'm working on. Hopefully there's some progression there throughout the, 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 the playlist or the um, series. Um, but I mean, that's kind of what I'm using them for now. I mean, so that's kind of what's up. Um, I just want to kind of spend a minute or two kind of talking to you guys about um, setting goals and realizing what your goals are, um, whether it's just to have a certain type of body, whether it's to have um, a certain type of look, whether it's to be physically fit, whether it's to be um, a lot more flexible, whether you want to be more explosive and more powerful, whether you want to just have, um, just be fit, just generally be able to just live your life day to day and not struggle with cleaning your house or walking around or going upstairs. Um, you know, set some goals. Um, I chose P90X and I chose to love P90X because it, 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 be, it helps you become a well-rounded individual. If you're just looking for a certain look, um, you don't really care about the, the whole health and fitness aspect of it, um, you know, this program might not be the, essentially the, the cookie cutter version of it, might not be exactly what you're looking for, but it can be tailored to your needs. Um, I tailored my fifth round, as some of you might know, for bulking phase. I did the bulking phase and uh, I could see my shirt through this lens. <laughs> Wrong church, shirt choice. Um, now you know my sense of humor. But anyways, um, <laughs> uh, at the end of the day, um, you have to choose your goals and, and it's going to help you achieve them a lot more than if you're just like, eh, I'm just going to do the workout. You know, you have to realize that the nutrition's part of this, the workout's a part of this, and when you have goals in place, it, it gives you a little bit more motivation and something more to to push for, push towards. Um, at the end of the day, you have to choose what your goals are. Not everybody's goal is to be super physically fit. Not everybody's goal is to be, you know, this and that. Some people just want to be able to just move around and do whatever they want to do. So really set your goals and, and realize that um, if you're looking to bulk, um, you might have to modify this phase a little bit, this this workout a little bit. If you're looking to to lose fat um, and just be ripped out of your mind, the cookie cutter version of this works pretty damn well. Um, the nutrition portion of that has to also be modified. I mean, the nutrition guide gives you the different options, um, but you know you have to realize really realize what you're doing. There's the nutrition guide does a great job of kind of walking you through it and telling you kind of what what you should be kind of doing. Um, but you always kind of have to make your own choices. You always have to modify for what the results you're getting and also modify for your own nutrition, your own um, calorie burning, you know, everything. I mean, at the end of the day, my metabolism and, and the way my body burns calories is going to be probably different than the way yours is. And that's why I can't just sit down and say, okay, you're the same height as me, you're the same weight in me as me. Here, throw in these calories. Um, at the end, that's going to be work fine if you're looking to bulk, maybe if you're cutting, but I mean, is it going to be perfect? No, I mean, it's not. It, 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 it's just a starting point. From there, you got to get to know your body and realize what your body can handle as far as carbs, as far as proteins, what your body responds better for. I mean, at the end of the day, you have to get to know your body. Make that mind-body connection that a lot of people don't have. Um, I mean, the, the quick topic I want to bring up to you guys, it's just something to really think about. At the end of the day, you have to really focus on what your goals are and what you're trying to get out of this program. Not everybody is trying to put on mass. Not everybody's trying to lose weight. Um, not everybody's just trying to just do the typical, I want to look good thing. Some people just want to be physically fit. Some people want to feel better. Some people don't want to be out of breath after a flight of stairs. Um, pick your goals, set your goals commit to them and do what you need to to get there. Um, be proactive with your food, be proactive with your workouts, make the time. Um, think ahead and say, hey, okay, I gotta go to work, I got four or five meals, um, let me think about what I'm gonna eat that day, either have that options already made or have the options available to you. So when you have to eat, you don't have to worry about it. So you don't have to eat, you don't have to eat junk. Um, half of this is, is preparation. 
Um, you know, early bird gets the worm has always been the saying, and, and it's true. If you prepare, if you're ready before you need to be ready, um, you're going to get that much more done. And you're going to be that much more successful than the person that isn't. Um, just the way it goes. It's just about how bad you want it. Um, and that's kind of always been my goal. It's always been kind of my phrase that I tell everybody that, that kind of comes here or anybody that I kind of deal with. How bad do you want it? Do you want it bad enough to have to prepare your meals? Do you want it bad enough to have to get up every day and work out? Um, do you want it bad enough to set some time apart and say, no, I can't eat that cake this week. I'm cutting. <laughs> I know I can't eat that cake or no, I can't go out because I got to really do my workout. Let me meet up with you a little bit later. You know, at the end of the day, you have to ask yourself, how bad do you want it? How bad do you want the results or how bad do you want to feel better or how bad do you want to just be better in your own skin? Um, something you have to really think about. Besides the fact that you can look great to do these workouts, um, be explosive with, with working out, feel better, look better, you think better. I mean, you, you process better. Your, your body runs that much more efficiently when you're eating good. You know, there was a time where when I wasn't working out, where I wasn't really doing the right things and, and sugars and, and fatty foods and fried foods and, and just overly processed carbs would just drain me. I would get home, eat, and I was like, I need a nap. And I would go to sleep. You know what I mean? Those things do affect you and they affect you a lot more than you think they do, especially mentally. If you're not feeding yourself um, good, 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 good food, getting you the right nutrients in your body, your mind will struggle through the day as well. Um, so just something to think about, just a quick food for thought for you guys. Um, decide what your goals are. Really take a look at that. And remember, you're supposed to be kind of keeping track of your progress. So w measure your weight, kind of keep some photo logs and all that good stuff. And, and you should be able to kind of see the subtle changes throughout your body. Um, at the end of the day, that's it, guys. So set your goals. Do yourself a favor. Don't put in all this work to not get the results. Set the results and ask yourself, you know, at the end of the day, how bad do you really want this? So that's it for today, guys. We'll see you guys tomorrow. Um, no, actually, my bad. Today's yoga, so I think tomorrow's a rest day, so no tomorrow. Ha. And after that, we're back to PAP lower. Um, and then we repeat PAP upper, and then we have another rest day. So that's kind of the plan. So we'll see you guys the day after tomorrow. Peace.